Another thing the Torah says is in regards to the animals that we eat. Hashem is a big makpid. He's very, very stringent in regards to what we eat. And the reason why is he says that everything that you ever eat, whether it's ice cream or it's a steak or it's an apple or anything that you're ever going to eat is going to turn into blood. Whatever doesn't turn into blood will come out of your system. Now who told this food, whether it's a steak, to turn into blood, and then the apple comes in and also turns into blood. And then on top of that, the, uh, the burger also turns into blood, and the bun also turns into blood. How come it all turns into blood? Uh, because obviously there's an intelligent designer behind all of this. That this blood, according to Hashem, is part of your neshama, it's part of your soul. Which means that you are what you eat. If you eat something impure, you become impure. But what does it mean impure? Does it mean you're a bad person? No, not necessarily. It means that if you try to learn Torah, it becomes nearly impossible. Because the Torah is the only thing that's truly spiritual in the world. And it's complete purity. Which means that if you go to a Shi'ur Torah and you eat non-kosher food, you're going to be like me when I was first starting to do tshuva. I go to a Shi'ur, I'm completely 100% awake. Five and a half minutes into the Shi'ur, I fall asleep. Why? Because it was, the purity was too much for my neshama to take. So it takes some training and obviously takes some kosher food. Hashem said, that, how are you going to know if this animal is pure? He says it has to have two signs. It has to have split hooves. It has to chew its cud, re-digest its food. You can have approximately 10 different animals that he lists, a little bit more than 10 animals that actually have 10 species that have these two signs. The rest of the animals in the world will not have any sign. It's either two or nothing, except four. There are four animals that have one sign. The pig, the herrings, the rabbit, and the camel. Four animals. Four animals only have one of the two signs. Every other animal either has two signs, which means it's kosher, and the rest of the animals in the world have nothing. What does this mean? This means that if we, fight, if we find animal number five, there's a mistake in the Torah. If we find another animal with one sign, there's a mistake in the Torah. Baruch Hashem, 3,300 years have passed since we got the Torah, they're still looking.